This is my reaction to Light on Me, episode four. In the last episode, Dayon took Tay to a double date ish slash non double date because um the girl showed up. I forget her name, but she showed up too. Um, and it was awkward. It was really awkward because she was there, and yeah, and Tay was very uncomfortable. Um. And yeah, it was just a whole mess of awkward. Although then um, they did leave, and I think Tay starting to like maybe get a crush on Dayon, but he's not really sure if it's just like him like liking him and showing feelings for him, or it's just because he's so nice and he just like does it to everyone. Which I feel like is because I also don't know either. I don't know if he's actually doing because he likes him or if he's doing because he's just a nice person. Because we've seen up to this point where he's just, like he he's very helpful to everyone. Also, then these guys are like bullying Dildo Boy, which is very uncalled for. Um, be and like I said in the last episode, it's because they found out about his secret Dildo collection, which, I mean, they're obviously going to make fun of him for that, which is very rude. Um, and again, don't ask how I know that. I just do. I have a sixth sense when it comes to this stuff. Um, so just trust me. Uh, but then Tay stepped in and like, hey, stop that. But then they punched him and knocked him out. And Dildo Boy got very like defensive. He's like, don't touch him. He got mad. Because he loves him. Um, yeah. Even though he acts like he hates him, he's going to probably continue to act like he hates him moving forward. We all know he loves him. Also, if you would like full reactions to Light on Me as well as other shows that I react to, you can join my Patreon for only $5 a month. So, yeah, let's go. Oh. Oh, you fake that? No, Oh, wow. Well done. That's really smart. <laughs> he wanted him to say thank you, but he's not. Yeah, see, I told, you, I told you. I told you he's not going to, like, give in. Yeah, he is. But it's fine. We love him anyway. I, I mean, I've already said it, like, a thousand times. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that... That's not good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that much, but... <sighs> I kind of figured that much, but... Yes, but that's true. Yeah. Yeah, right. Because he faked it. He heard that. Oh. <laughs> One of these days, he's going to come around. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> Where did you come from? Yeah, so. So, in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure they found out he was gay. And now they're not his friends anymore. And I feel like those two events are related. Wait, so you saw that? Ah. Oh. Okay. <sighs> oh, he's trying to say thank you. Yeah. I think so. I mean, he said thank you to you. That's a big step for him. Oh, shit, your screen really broken. Uh, that Oh, what is it? Oh, cool. Good for you. Ah. <sighs> What's up with his parents? That's kind of an awkward exchange. 
So cute. Oh shit, what happened? <laughs> Everyone's so confused what just happened, but it was amazing. Yes. Yes, he, yes, he is finally coming around. It's great. <laughs> he did that on purpose. He knows. Oh. Oh! Oh, I did not expect that. Mama, Sonsignimiran Kachisoso, and the pun, Hakin to put a coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> Yo, could you want it in the middle? Oh. She won. Oh. 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 Oh no! This is bad. He got bandages too! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, my poor child. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, not you. I don't care about you. Sindong, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, bye. Yeah. Mm. That was my reaction to Light on Me, episode 4. So it turns out that Taejeon was faking his, like, passing outness, I guess, or whatever you call it. He pretended to be faint, he wasn't. Um, to trick the guys. And then he had a little mark on his face, and. Dildo Boy then apologized to him. He got on the phone and called him and apologized. He didn't apologize in person, but he did do it on the phone, which is good. And then when they were at school, Dildo Boy wasn't being so, like, aggressively mean towards him. He was actually being nice, and they went to the store, and they hung out, and it was, like, it was good. Then Dayon found Tay in the library, and he was, like, helping with his homework. Then, um, Shu He? Shu Li? I forgot her name. But she showed up, and then he, like, told her to wait in the student council room. Um... And then he ended up leaving without her, which is kind of funny. We also put bandage on Tay's, like, smark, whatever. It wasn't even a scar, it was more of a scratch, whatever. But, um, yeah, he put a bandage on him. But Dildo Boy saw, and he had the box of, like, bandages for him. And it was so sad. Like, because he was there, he was going to do the same thing. He wanted to. Anyway, well, now, I feel like I should ask the question, because, I, I mean, we're, like, four episodes then. Um, I think we're like a quarter of the way through because I think there are 16 total. But yeah, I'm curious. So let me know which team are you on? Are you on team Dayon or are you on team Shinwoo or Dildo Boy as I call him? Um, 
I, I'm really curious. I don't know. Because, I mean, I, I, I definitely see the appeal for both of them. They are both really good. Like, I, either way. So, whichever happens, it's not like it's going to be too bad. Now, I like Dayon, and, like, I think that he and Taeko would be really good together. And I think that Dayon's really nice and, like, just a great person. But I'm on Team Dildo Boy. For the sole reason for the Dildo origin story. And if you don't know what I mean, I'm talking about, like, you know when, like, couples are, like, together or whatever, I think, or at least in TV shows from what I've seen. I've never been in a relationship. But, um, and they're, like, together, and they're, like, oh, how do you guys mean? And it's, like, oh, we were friends first, and then we started dating, or, like, oh, it was, like, love at first sight or whatever. Like, imagine with them, if someone asked them that question, then it'd just be, like, oh, yeah, no, um, he poked my ass with a dildo. That's the dream! Are you kidding? That's a <laughs> Like, that's so good! Imagine a couple saying that's how they met. Imagine. How amazing that would be. Like, that's a dream. Like, love at first sight, nah. Like, friends, not nah, none of that. No, it's the dildo. <laughs> like, that would be amazing. Oh, my God. Like, so that's why I'm team dildo boy. Shin Woo. Um, I'm team. I'm that team. Um, what is going on? That's a very loud. I'm sorry if you hear that. So, yeah. That's it.